All right. So, Mike, uh, quick question, man. You and your fabulous wife, Dominique, you guys work together. And there's a thing out there called work-life balance. But as an entrepreneur, real estate investor, business owner, how do you balance, you know, when to talk about work, when not to talk about work, when to cut it off, you know, because it can always spill into your conversations. It does. So that's a big question, right? And I think it's a team thing. It's a team effort. So, however, it's also part of life. It's a choice that you've made with your partner, right? So mm -hmm. if it's an issue and you guys have, I'm not the best communicator, always working on it, right? Especially us men. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. true, true. Uh, no, I don't want to stereotype for you, no, Marcus. No, no. I know you're perfect. No, I'm not perfect. <laughs> no. I'm pretty close. But. All right, see, I do, I do it. We like to think. So, um, no, but yeah, communication, right? So if you're communicating and, you know, maybe saying boundaries or, or having these open discussions, you'll know what is right and when is right. If you're listening, mm -hmm. <laughs> when you're True. communicating, which I've learned. Um, you know what I'm saying? It, it, I think if you guys have that communication, like for us, between business as Rhea, like at one point we were doing real estate agent, buying rental properties, flips, wholesaling, running a hair salon, like your kid. Like mm -hmm. when, I, I would probably say the, the, the biggest boundary about it was maybe more around our son, like obviously paying attention, yeah. you know, yeah. but even him, like he probably heard a million phone calls before he even took his first real estate phone call, you know? Okay. So it's, a, it's it, we're just always on the go. So it's just life. Like we're sitting at a, at a restaurant and you're like, you're breaking down the service. You're breaking mm -hmm. down how you were treated when you came right. in, right? You it's just life and it's what, what you do. So I, I don't really look for that that balance. Okay. I think it's the journey in which you in which you enjoy. Like if I didn't like talking about business or if there's something that if I'm in not in the mood to talk about, you say, hey, let's change mm -hmm. the subject. And your partner usually respects that, right? You, you well, know? And, so and and a good thing about you and Dom is because both of you guys have that that entrepreneurial aspirations, right? Both of you guys are mm -hmm. always independent learners, independent workers, but when you have that W-2 employee and then you have one that's an entrepreneur, True. naturally that entrepreneurial brain, as entrepreneurs, we can't cut the brain off, right? We, yeah. can't, we can't cut that off. We're always thinking, strategizes, strategizing and thinking about something. Um, but that W-2 employee, it's a little bit different. I'm not, I'm, and I'm trying not to generalize, but it's a little bit different because when they well, off, it's they, it is. they are off, <laughs> right? Yeah, five o'clock, whatever that time. No, that's totally true, and that's okay, right? There's no, um, it's not right or wrong. It's just going back to that balance, the communication, yep. Yep. right? What works for you? So, I, do you, your wife doesn't have a business, right? Correct. So, so how does that work in your world? You know, it can be challenging at times, you know, because me, I'm the type of person that's, it's always something that can be done. It's always time to work on something. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes I get a little guilty when I'm just sitting down watching TV, watching a movie. It's like, hey, you know, you could be doing this, you could be working on this. And she's like, you know, just sit down and relax and take it easy. And I'm like, no, but I got these 10 things on my list that I need mm -hmm. to get done. So... It is challenging sometimes, and um, but we work through it, like you said, with communication and stuff like that. It's in anything, in anything in business. Like I can imagine, so one way I try to try, right, especially like when you go down that whole sales world and communication, it's like put yourself in the other party's perspective. Even more in political season, Republican, Democrat. Like if, if I'm in that type of con conversation, I will be – in that other party's shoes mm -hmm. like why are they there what are they thinking like this for where do they come from like and i really try to understand that other perspective before you blast off right, on, on, right. in your mind um but that's a that's i had a, one story i always tell the groups is like a gentleman we were talking about vision boards and he was like i want to He was a cpa and he ultimately wanted to get rentals and maybe retire early or quit his job and he had um he, I was like, where's your vision board? I got a vision board. Where do you look at it every day? Where do you, you know, visualize right. your whole experience that you're, you're going to be creating? And he's like, oh, man, my wife it thinks it's like woo-woo, foo-foo, so she's embarrassed uh -huh. and doesn't even want friends or family to know or see it. 